Pen Deng poses with the men of the U.S. Army Military Special Forces Reserve Unit. He told them joining up was a path to American citizenship, but the HQ and the logo were a fraud. The brigade was fake, and Deng is accused of being a con man. He was marched into a Los Angeles courtroom to face charges of theft and producing fake government documents. Prosecutors say he persuaded as many as 100 Chinese immigrants to pay hundreds of dollars for false IDs and uniforms. He preyed upon the aspirations of a very, a very specific targeted group with limited English-speaking abilities, with, with limited knowledge of U.S. government affairs, U.S. military affairs. They were promised that their association with this uh, fictitious group would lead to collateral benefits, such as uh, extra points when they applied for permanent residency or legitimacy uh, in terms of their immigration status in the United States. Deng was arrested after his recruits tried to use their fake military IDs to avoid parking fines. Even his lawyer is a little baffled. He was not starting a militia. I'm not going to comment on the facts at this point. Obviously, I just had an opportunity to obtain the discovery today, uh, and I'm going to have to do some more investigation. Deng had made his unit parade at a military funeral and even took them to the museum at the USS Midway in San Diego. His neighbors seemed as surprised as his recruits. I just can't believe it, uh, people um, doing things like that. So. Some of Deng's army visited real military facilities to try to pay the annual fee he was charging them. If found guilty of all charges, the man who called himself the Supreme Commander could face eight years in prison. Greg Milam, Sky News, Washington. You're watching.